Laravel is available in part 155 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi-vendor e-commerce website. So we will continue working on the order invoice and in this video we are going to send the PDF invoice link to the user order email. Okay, so we know that every time when the user place the order, uh, we used to send the order email to the user and in that mail we are going to send the PDF invoice link as well so that the user can able to download the PDF invoice and keep it with himself. Okay, a user can keep it. Uh, that user invoice okay so uh, now uh, see like uh, when whenever the user will add some products in his car and will place the order okay uh, then uh, see uh, this invoice that we have generated in the last video you, you can see these are the invoices that we have generated in the last video so this invoice uh, we want to send to the user as well okay so this is the invoice that we want to send to the user as well in his email okay so complete invoice we're going to send the complete invoice okay uh, see the complete order invoice in which the products all the products are there it is irrespective of like uh, if this belongs to the some vendor uh, uh, some particular vendors if the uh, some uh, some different vendor like this blue t-shirt belongs to the one vendor and red t-shirt belongs to the another vendor but user is not concerned with that we are going to send the comp complete invoice to the user complete order details to the user okay though it will come it, it will ship to the user on different times like if if the if these products belong to the different vendors this vendors is going to ship at his own time and this one will come at his own time okay but uh, see uh, the invoice it will remain the same so uh, so what we are going to do we are going to create the route first of all i am going to uh, close these files I'm going to open my folder uh, go, I'm going to close all the files that are not required okay so yeah now I'm going to uh, open my folder here XAM uh, SD docs and here is my folder ecom9 okay so I'm going to uh, make it here ecom9 folder so here I'm going to uh, create its route and uh, we are going to create its route outside the admin okay this time like earlier on we have created inside the admin but uh, this is not the part of the admin otherwise the user can't able to open it so we will make one route outside the admin okay admin group okay so here we are going to make and here uh, we are going to change it like uh, uh, we will make the uh, like instead of pdf we will write download okay download like this uh, get orders invoice download or uh, and here we will replace it with download invoice okay view uh, see not uh, download we will make it like download pdf invoice like this okay and this function i'm going to open the order controller and in this function uh, we are going to create the similar function like view pdf invoice so that if any changes we want to make uh, to this one then we can make uh, otherwise we can simply or we can do one more thing see we can use it same okay we because uh, it remains the same we will use it same view pdf invoice here view pdf invoice okay uh, because uh, here just url we are going to change separate url uh, for sending in email okay and separate url for opening in admin panel okay so this one we will keep it uh, uh, same view pdf invoice so now uh, we are going to send this link to the order email resources views emails and this is the order email in this uh, here we are going to add its link somewhere uh, we are going to add its link uh, here at the bottom what i'm going to do i'm going to add two more times and here uh, we are going to add uh, the wording like uh, click here to download order invoice okay so we will uh, add its link here a okay. here we are going to close this and here we are going to add its URL 
in which we are going to add orders invoice download we will add its path its path is orders invoice download okay same uh, i have added here okay order invoice download fine and after that uh, that uh, uh, id will come order details like uh, we are going to pick this array order details array in which we are uh, going to pass the order id like this okay so this one we are going to close here and this curly braces will close so now we are going to test it it seems to be fine uh, so we are going to test it now now uh, we are going to place the new order a user is going to place the new order go to select one of the delivery address and we'll select this cash on delivery we have done the cash on delivery so far and now accept the terms and condition and we'll click on place order and here we're going to see oh, some error has come so the last time we have added a few columns courier name as well as the tracking number if you remember so both the columns uh, see uh, we must uh, add as a null value we must assign them as a null value so that if there is no data available for those columns then we uh, are required to assign the null values to them so if any time happen uh, this error comes you need to assign the null value to those columns okay if any time like some other column uh, does not have a default value so assign the null value uh, from the from, from the table like I'm going to do it right now a Korean name okay in orders table I'm going to make Korean name as well as the tagging number both fields we have added uh, last time so I'm going to uh, assign here the null value means whenever there is no data null value assigned to this column okay so in the same way uh, I remember that uh, we have also added in the order products okay that vendor is going to update his own items so again we are going to assign here the null values if there is no data available for these two columns null save okay so now uh, we will go back and we will try once again i'm going to refresh here so i'm going to try uh, cash on delivery i'm going to select one of the address uh, and uh, terms and condition accepted click on place order and then we are going to see and I think email is going here it is taking time yes email has been gone your order has been placed successfully now we are going to open that uh, uh, what is that I am going to open dot env we will see uh, mail trap mail trap dot io ok so we are going to open here mail trap and here we are going to check uh, whether we have got the new email okay so we are already logged in and we will go to the inbox and here we are going to see yes new mail has come few seconds ago order place and we are going to see uh, yes order mail has come we are going to see click here to download order and OS link has also come and this order ID is 14 we are going to see and its order total is 1200 we are going to see and it is having the one item now we are going to click on click here to download order in OS and let's see uh some issue has come target class order controller does not exist so we need to see what issue exactly is coming uh okay so let's see uh target class okay we required here to add the full path so it is not working like this because here it is outside the um, admin middleware group you can see so we need to add the complete path outside that uh, uh, function or oh, okay uh, out, out, outside this controller file okay like this admin slash now we are going to check okay uh, so I'm going to close this one we'll click on click here to download order device once again and uh, this time uh, nothing happens uh, so we are going to first inspect this one that it is uh, having the right URL uh, okay so uh, yeah okay so now we can copy this one and see uh, we can also click here okay straight away we can click here uh, see it is opening from here but it is not opening from there we're going to see why it is not opening but it is the invoice 
is opening if i am going to copy this link okay the link that we have uh, added in link uh, there uh, see we are going to check once that the invoice is coming here here you can see the invoice is coming order id 14 everything is fine okay uh, and now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to edit as html now i'm going to copy this one uh, okay so here i'm going to paste it once again yeah it is fine here uh, now we are going to remove here target blank is not there so it's fine target blank is not there mm. i think here we are missing <coughs> if we are going to edit like this uh this one and this one now we are going to check once okay mm, now maybe the uh, this is the issue here we forgot to add uh, now we are going to test uh, from the email i'm going to close uh, now i'm going to close this one as well I'm going to click on here close here click here to download order noise uh, still it is not happening going to refresh it once okay so let's see or uh, or we're going to try once again uh, with the new email id if it will not work still it is not working so leave uh, we are going to place the new order because uh, we have updated the url in the email so maybe it is not working it is just having the old url so i'm going to add the new product here men and so here I'm going to add the new product. Okay, I'm going to select the one of the delivery address, cash on delivery. I have a separate terminal condition. Click on place order. So it has been done. You can see the order number is 15 and grand total is 1300. And we're going to see in email, email has just come order number 15 okay grand total 1300 here we're going to click on click here to download order OS and still it is not working uh, we are going to see inspect its url in url it is showing like this uh, invoice download 15 if we click on url then it is working but it is not working uh, from here it must work from here uh, but it is not working from here uh, <coughs> i think uh, the uh, here the mail trap is not allowing us uh, uh, for for clicking on the urls okay so what we can do we can do one more thing uh, otherwise this uh, this will surely work in gmail or yahoo uh, but we can do one more thing we can add here uh, like uh, we can do this thing outside of this one uh, click here, here to download order invoice click uh, click to download download order invoice we can see download order invoice okay at dollar order invoice at here this url i'm going to copy and we'll paste it here okay like this so now we are going to try okay in the another mail okay one more mail we are going to send now hopefully this time it will work fine you cut proceed to checkout and we're going to select one of the address then cash on delivery place order it will take few seconds it has been done we're going to see email has come okay so see download order in OS at this one okay so now it looks fine i think and uh, see url will come instead of this one we're going to click on this one or it if it will not open user can simply copy okay 
and can paste here and then click on enter then the invoice we get downloaded okay so see here also we can write uh, after this line uh, we can simply write here in break uh, copy and paste copy and paste the link in browser if uh, yeah, if it does not work copy and paste to open if link does not work copy and paste to open if link does not work okay any wording you can write so that it will clear to the user uh, that if in case this link is not opening user can simply copy and paste this URL to open the invoice okay so like this we can able to uh, do this thing okay so otherwise it will surely work it may be not working because of this email uh, or uh, we can uh, see the HTML view okay it is loading and we can uh, still it is not working from here but the user can always copy and paste uh, here uh, to the uh, to download the invoice okay so this is the alternative uh, so I hope that you can do this thing at your end uh, so we will do something else in the next video uh, stay tuned for that so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye